So, I don't know, you probably actually know you won't be able to tell, but in order to film this, I'm actually sitting in my wardrobe, which, yes, I know, does sound a bit peculiar. However, it is the only place that I can sit in order to show you what I actually have in my makeup collection, which I will admit has grown a lot since last year. So, I'm going to get straight into it and basically show you because I know... If you would have seen last year's one, I didn't have a lot, but I think the stuff that I've got now, either compared to the old stuff, it's either run out or I've just put it away because I don't use it anymore, because obviously I've got my newer stuff. So I'll start off with the boring bit first, I'll start off with the brushes. Yes, I know, they are not clean at all, because A, can't be bothered, <laughs> and B... I don't actually have anything to clean them with. I, th I think you can just do it with, um, oh, what's it called? Water and some kitchen roll, but I don't know. I haven't even tried it, to be honest. And these are quite new. I haven't used them very much. So these marble ones, which I honestly love because they are absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's basically got like a marble handle and then you've got like a, cop a golden coppery kind of bit and then you've got the brush. But the brushes are so soft. I think they come in a packet of 10. I'll try. So these are the five big ones. So you've got, I use blusher. I don't really use all of these. I think I use, what, two of them, I think. Um, I think one of, I know one, of, obviously, I use that one for blusher, as you can probably tell, compared to com, com looking at how pink it is kind of thing. I use one of these for highlighter, depending which one I pick up first. Normally this one by the looks of it. And then I normally use one of them for contour, or I also, I don't actually know what the other two are used for. I suspect one's for like powder, probably this one. And this one, I'm not actually sure. But, so yeah, they're the big ones. And then you've got the, and then you have the smaller ones. So for me, I use this one as more of like a buffing brush. This one for more creasy lid one. Or this one for a lid as well, actually. And then I'm kind of guessing this one, this angled one is for eyebrows, but I'm not 100% sure on this one because I don't know, I just, I just don't know really. <laughs> I've got my old foundation brush, which I don't use anymore. This, which from Superdrug. And actually, also, those brushes were, I think, from Primark because my sister gave them to me. This was my old blusher highlight brush which was in a pack of 12, 12 I think, brushes from Groupon, which is really good to get like cheap makeup brushes and stuff. This brush was from one of my palettes that I've got in my cupboard there. This is my eyebrow brush. I don't really, I don't really shade in my eyebrows very much, which I will go on to in a bit, but I basically just brush them out because like they get they go really misshaped in that when I wake up in the morning. And then this one is for like shading. But when I do, I use a different brush. And that I think is from A... Well, it says Avon on the brush. So I presume it's Avon. This, uh, these are my eyelash curlers. Not much really, just eyelash curlers. And these were from Primark from about two years ago roughly. When I first started doing my makeup. So, yeah. <laughs> and then in the at the bottom I've got... The eyelash curlers kind of like press a bit and some cotton bars to help me if I ever actually do eyeliner. And if you're interested, this little tub that I keep them in is from Ikea. I think they're like £5 each or something or probably less than that to be honest. Ikea is the best place to get like little pots and that because they are all absolutely stunning and so worth the money. This here, as you can probably see, is literally just my Zoella makeup bag that I use but if I take makeup to my dad's I just take what I need really and put it in here and it basically on the front it just says these are a few of my favourite things from like one of the amazing songs and then on the back it's got all different kind of things that basically Zoe loves and to be honest I love most of them too <laughs> so what I'll go on to next is these bits so these here are my makeup remover bits so these are all from the body shop the body shop stuff is absolutely amazing. Like honestly, whenever I, whenever I do my actual skincare, 
it honestly makes my skin feel amazing. Obviously, these are not the only things I use. I use multiple products for my skin. I might in the future do like a skin routine in like 27, 2018-ish, which is actually quite soon, which I'm quite excited about. First of all, I will use my Body Shop Chamomile Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover in order to take off my eye and lip makeup. Pretty self-explanatory, really. And then I will use this, my Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. I can't read. <laughs> and it's ba I've used it quite a bit. I'm trying to open it. As you can tell, I have used it quite a bit, honestly. It's so good, though. Like, you literally just take a bit off, rub it all over your face. Oh, got a bit on the lid there. Don't know where that came from. You basically literally just rub it all over your face, and it will basically remove, like, your foundation, your highlighter, pretty much pretty much everything that you've got on your face to do with your makeup, and it's so much easier to get off. So then, once I've done that, I'll then go in with my Body Shop Alo Calming Toner, which I use, basically get some cotton buds and just like dab it onto my face basically. And then after that, you then, the body, the woman at the body shop told me to use that and then just put on your primer that you would normally use for your makeup. And honestly, afterwards, your skin feels amazing. Honestly, it feels so soft. Like I said, I definitely will do a skin routine in the future because I do use it quite a lot. Next here is my Slay All Day Setting Spray. I love this thing. It's from Gerard Cosmetics as well. This was in an one of Anastasia's videos, actually. I can't remember which one it was, but literally, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. And actually, it smells heavenly as well. It smells good, feels good. Although, what I prefer to do is when I do put it on, I have my fan with me. So that I could just basically wave the fan at my face so that it sets a bit quicker kind of thing. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it does for me. So over here is all my palettes. Now, I have a range of different palettes. So don't do that. <laughs> here are my Tanya Burr ones. The only Tanya Burr ones I actually have, like, palette-wise. So the first one is the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Fairy Tale Eye Palette. So that's basically just these four shades, which I barely use, to be honest. So I don't, I can't really say I use these because I don't very much because I use more my other palettes because I don't really, I think these are quite standout colours that I don't really use very much. But I have used them once, I think, and when I did use them, they're quite good. Now this is the Tanya, Cosme Tanya Burr Cosmetics Perfect Brows Palette. Now... As you can tell, I have tried using it a little bit. The only one I haven't used is Hot Cocoa because that is way too like brown for my eyebrows. I use like a mix of Chestnut and Pebble, although I don't shade them in as much kind of thing. Like I get the tiniest bit on the brush, which I normally use this one, and then obviously I just shade them in the tiniest bit, and then on like the corners or the like or the start bit, I I put the fairy cake a little bit, so it's like a highlighter kind of thing. Then that makes sense. And then if I need to, if there's anything that are annoying me, then I will pluck it with my plucker thing. <laughs> I just realised my sister's lost a thing to it. Damn it. <laughs> and then the one that I used to use all the time, but I haven't actually used this in a while, is my Tanya Burr Cosmetics Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. To be honest, I don't really... I must admit, at the start I did used to love this, but... Now I've tried all the other products, this doesn't seem very pigmented. Like, whenever I use the bronze, I don't... It doesn't really look any different. The blush is alright. I really like, I like the blush. And to be honest, the highlighter doesn't seem very pigmented either. It just seems like you're just putting some kind of powder onto your face. Like, it doesn't shimmer as much as you'd like, you'd like think it would. Like, it kind of doesn't... It's probably just how much I'm putting on, because I don't always put on a lot of highlights, so it's probably just me being really fussy, but, you know. <laughs> the next thing is my L'Oreal La Palette Nude palette from L'Oreal that I got. I think Bethany got this for my birthday, maybe, but it's basically an eyeshadow palette, and it is the exact same as the one I'm going to show you in a second. Actually, I'll get it out now. It's actually the exact same as a, um, what brand is this one again? As my revolution one 
I don't know if I only discovered this with just before I started filming this. Yes, I know this one's a bit tatty, but hey ho. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but do they not look similar to you? Because on this end, you've got the white, you've got the pink, you've got literally like the same colours. Like, they're completely different brands. I bet there's a reason to this, and I just don't know. But the they look exactly the same. Literally, th this one's just like, I'd say this one, this one, the small one, is more of like a travel size kind of thing. Although this was my first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought, I think. And I still love it, to be honest. <laughs> I love, I don't know what happened to my pink though. That really annoyed me. But my favourites to use are that one, that one. It's basically these four, actually, to be in fact. I don't really use that one, it should, that one anymore. As you can tell, it's broken. <laughs> So yeah, there's those. The next one is this one, and this was one that I did get for Bethany for her birthday. It's the Revolution Iconic Pro number one. So basically, the story to this one. I bought Bethany this exact palette for her birthday in at the start of this year, so 2017. However, when I got it for her, I got so jerks because I really wanted it as well. So I kind of went back and got my own one. I don't even know if Bethany uses this anymore. But this is probably again one of my favorites because you've got all the like nudie shades over here and then the more experimental ones over here as well so they're really good i think obviously i don't really use the darker brown the purple the silver the black i more use the gold the red and the um and these shades over here basically just to set like a warmer kind of tone to my makeup looks Next is my favourite blush that I've ever owned, is my Nip and Fab one. Is there a shade to this? Um, kind of. Well, on the back, you've got Flamingo, Cocktail, Whisper and Velvet. And honestly, these shades are amazing. To be honest, when I first saw them, I was thinking, oh, they're probably all going to come... Oh, God. Probably all going to come out the same. But I don't know if you can tell, but they all look so different. They're actually stunning. My favourites to use are either this one, the bottom left, or the top left. I don't know why, I think I just use those the most, to be honest. But honestly, they're so pigmented. I think the next thing I want to try from Nip and Fab is the highlighters. Because everyone, like Hannah and Anastasia, they all go on about the Nip and Fab highlighters. And I'm like, hmm, maybe one day. Or even the contour kit looks quite good, to be honest. Next up is my, probably one of my other favourite eyeshadow palettes, is my Shan XO eyeshadow palette. And it's got basically nine eyeshadows on this side. Oh, God, he dropped it. And I mostly use this shade, this shade, that shade, and that shade, and those shades. I never use these ones, because <laughs> I don't really know what to use them for, to be honest. And then, if you go on to the other side, you've got nine lip things although i haven't i know it looks like i've used them but i actually haven't i've tested them but i haven't actually worn them out although kind of looking at them i really want to now so i might actually wear these out one day or i might even test them out for a video i don't know yet <laughs> depends now next is oh no i'm breaking things um next is my revolution pro hd eyeshadow palette again the Amplified 35 palette in the shade Direction, I think. And Bethany got the, me this for my birth... Wait a second, I thought she got... No, she got this for my birthday. She, she must have got me that... She must have got me that smaller one for Christmas then. I showed this in... My, oh no, I'm still making a mess. I showed this in my favourites. I think it was my September favourites. But these are the shades. They are amazing. I love using all the like creamy shades, these shades, these like ready brownie ones are my favourite. I love the oranges as well, I love literally everything about this palette. Like I even love the names, some of the names are quite cool. <laughs> so like, you've got all different ones, you've got obviously Prosecco, I'm not really an alcohol person. So although the shade is really nice. I think Copper Dream is definitely one of my favourites because I love copper. Mystery, No Rules, Bronze, Warm Fizz, Self Love, Literally, Lace, Sweet Nothings, 9 to 5, all absolutely amazing shades. 
I cannot express to you how amazing that palette is. <laughs> but I think definitely my palettes are probably my favourite things that I own. I'm a massive like thing, I have a massive thing for palettes. Next I'll move on to lips. Obviously I do have more lip things but these are like my main ones. I think I'll just pretty much show you my main ones to be honest. So if, I don't know if you can really see these very well. However, I do have three Tiny Bear Cosmetics ones. So I have the new shade. I think these are her old ones as well. And I've taken the labels off the back because I'm clever like that. <laughs> have I got taken the shades off? Oh no, this one's called Picnic in the Park. And I'm pretty sure this one's called Aphrodite. Yep, Aphrodite. So they're my three Tiny Bear Cosmetics ones. I'm really not sure what one that was. <laughs> Um, and then I have my Miss Sporty one in the shade Bling Plum. It's like a pearl, like a glossy purple, but honestly, it's so it smells really nice, and it honestly looks really nice as well. And then I've got my like nudie one in Luxurious Nude. Miss Sporty do the best lip glosses, I swear. <laughs> and then I've got my first NYX product that I ever bought. In, in the NYX lingerie kind of like bit to it and this one's 108 or 08 or bedtime flirt I'm not sure what the names are on these and then here I have my NYX oh wait did I buy this at the same time I can't remember I think I did my NYX sheer mega shine lip gloss which I, my, I kind of wear this to college quite a bit it's in the shade nude pink I, I think I wear this to college quite a lot because I don't always wear standy outy lips. <laughs> this this is another NYX thing. Oh, God, I bought quite a bit at the same time, didn't I? This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade... Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to say 17. Oh, I beef up. That's the one. It says it on the bottom. I don't know if you can tell. To be honest, I used to think it was it was pronounced Ibiza. <laughs> so there's that one. And then my favourite thing of all time is my MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. Who remember I don't well obviously I wasn't watching it at the time, but I do go back and watch old YouTube videos. But I remember when the only lipstick that everyone talked about was the ve the MAC velvet teddy oh my god <laughs> that made it made me so happy when i was able to get it i was very happy because i went out with bethany to um one of our shopping centers near us and i was so happy <laughs> and this is probably the most boring part the bit that doesn't interest me the most i've got my collection primer or my eyes which i don't know i do use it but i don't really see much of a difference with them i've got my Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Very Black Mascara which I think I've actually run out of now and I kind of need to get a new one. I then have my two eyeliners. I've got my Rimmel. Is it Rimmel? I can't see that. Oh yeah there it is. Rimmel Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner and my Body Shop Liquid Eyeliner. Now I don't know if anyone watching this can, I, well I'm guessing you probably can, but if you can do eyeliner please comment me from tips down below because I can't do eyeliner to save my life, but I really want to start wearing it, or if there's any particular brands of eyeliner or types of eyeliner you think would be good to like start off with or something, please let me know. <laughs> um, and then over here, my final bits, my primer by Soap and Glory which I swear by, it is honestly amazing. My Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. Now, to be honest, I do want to try the L'Oreal True Match one, but again, can't figure out which shade I am. <laughs> and then my favourite highlighter of all time, my Body Shop highlighter in Honey Bronze. I don't really know if you can tell, but it's practically flat. When I first got it, it was an oval. That's flat from how many times I've used it. That's a bit embarrassing, I think. 